I want to do a cheesesteak. <laughs> we can do a cheesesteak. It's truly unfucking believable. <laughs> what about a bacon, egg, and cheese steak? Ooh. Oh, breakfast, breakfast cheese steak? I'm not eating. Buddy! <laughs> that's fucking great. That would be so good. A breakfast cheese steak? A bacon, egg, and cheese steak. <laughs> Seeing my dad vape, like it was literally seeing a Superman cape fall Your off his shoulders. Vaping? Yeah, it was the worst thing I've ever seen. He's known around town for a big, thick, push broom mustache. Yeah. And smoking soft pack Winstons that he rolled up in his sleeve like a fucking, like a Captain Italiano. What a life. <clears throat> it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's known for around town. So now, like, he picked me up to go somewhere when I got dropped off in Philly, and I was like, wow, there's no ashes on the dashboard. It yeah. smells good. It's very nice. Wait, what's going on? Did, did you get it? Did, did you get it? Yeah, yeah. And then he just pulled out a vape. He goes, hey, babe. I'm like, you're just going to say it like that? Tell First of all, you, gotta get up on this you got to call. You should have called me. You should have called me the way, like, Michelle's pregnant. Like, I, I should have got a call going, dad vapes now. Where are we going first? The international meat market. The international meat market. Sounds like, uh... Where is that? Come on, shithead. <laughs> you can buy a full fucking goat with hair on it, <laughs> but you can't find chipped steak in this goddamn yeah. city. You gotta go 90 miles to get frozen steaks. What is chipped steak? Is it just the Chip, way that it's cut? It's like uh, our version of steakum. Oh, okay. Remember steakum? But it's, it's, just a, it's just the way that it's like chopped up. They right? typically like... freeze it as a whole and then slice it lengthwise. Yeah. Like. Uh, uh, like Pats and Geno's? Yes. That's yeah, ribeye. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's, and it's strips. It's yeah. like, yeah. it almost looks like deli meat. That's why it's also, you know, $15 for a cheesesteak. It's like really high quality yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, you know, a lot of these local places will sell it still at $10, $15 and then give you this great D-dog yeah. shit. You, sh you shouldn't even feed your cat. <laughs> if we can't get the chip steak, we go to get skirt steak. So if we can't get it, oh, there he is. There's the Burke man. This looks planned. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's go. Yeah, what up? Shit. <laughs> How are you? What's going on? You look great. How are you? What's up? If you can't get the chip steak, you're going to buy a ribeye and then No, no, it. no, no. I, I'll just get more skirt steak and then do oh, okay. two, two, two different ways. I'll do chopped chop steak. Okay. The same way, but just a higher quality meat. Okay. So I'm going to charcoal grill the skirt steak. If I do get a chip steak from the, mar the market, I'm going to I'm going to pan fry that. Like you would a steak them. So that one's getting that one's getting whiz and yeah. fried onion, and the grilled skirt steak's getting American cheese, cherry pepper spread, and we gotta okay. make a bacon egg and cheese steak for for the world. For the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Shane yeah, yeah. invented it. Bacon egg and cheese steak. And that's all I'm doing is repurposing the meat. Uh, Mike, hey, repurposing the meat. <laughs> <laughs> repurposing the meat, putting the, on the bottom of Tom bacon egg and cheese. Tom is a real man about town. <laughs> this is what we need. Chip steak, onion, garlic, American cheese, rolls, bagels, cherry peppers, charcoal, beers, eggs, bacon. <laughs> Is there a better list? Do you have uh, like chip steak for like to make a cheese steak? Chip? No, not like that. Much. You know how they, they also sell some places sell like frozen flat steak that you put on a grill? Okay. Uh, what about skirt steak? You got skirt steak? All right, we'll come, let's come back for that. Right. Okay. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I knew they wouldn't have it. So where are we going? What's the other place? Sea Town. It's far and away the best option because it's right in the middle price point where you'll get all the flavor and the high fat content. You just have to. So Sea Town has a. Yeah, uh, they have skirt steak. Okay. Do you have to cook a, a cheese steak with skirt steak? No, you can use any meat, but because we're in New York. It's hard to find our traditional yeah, yeah. flat frozen steak. So I was trying, my, my goal was to have one of each to show people in yeah, Philly and yeah, Jersey yeah, they can yeah. make it simple with this or 
You can make it with actual steak. It's an elevated cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. What? But okay. it, I thought you were giving me fire. And then on top of that, you just, uh, you dumb it down with like uh, American. I don't need charcoal. Remember I said I had charcoal? I got it at home. Oh, you do? Yeah. Is it old? Uh, no. Well, Is charcoal real bad? It's not the newest. I like being in grocery stores, but I don't like shopping. White. White onions are the only ones you should never use. Unless in stews. White onions. White onions. That's trash. That's trash. See, I'm learning a little bit. Yeah, you are. I'm proud of you. All right. Oh, dude, we got a sale on the skirt. This never happens, bro. Tom, which part of the cow is the skirt? I think it's under the rib. You'd think so, right? I, I think. It's got to be like in the hip area. It's got skirt area, right? Yeah, I got to get bacon for bacon, egg, and cheese. Everybody always chintzes on bacon. They get like that, that cheap shit. Center cut. I'm gonna need cheese and we good, bro. And cheese? You don't go craft singles here. You go. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'll burp in your face. <clears throat> Cooper Sharp. The type of American cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it so hard to find? I think it's just regional or something. It's the same thing with like scrapple and pork roll. For some reason. Yeah. Well, why you got to go 30 to 60 uh, miles. Is like Cooper like a farm or something? That's I don't know. It must be local. I only speak in aggressions without knowledge of like behind it. Because you know? <laughs> it could be from Germany and maybe PA just spends a lot. Also, what makes the cheese sharp? Uh, How do you sharpen a cheese? Next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a Cooper Sharp? Cooper Sharp cheese? No. Okay, I'll take a, a pound of American white. I knew they wouldn't have it. This is it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, that chicken at the counter, too. She usually has a mask on. I guess they took down the mandates. Yeah. I didn't know she was that beautiful. So everything that I said would happen, happened. happened. No chip steak, no frozen steakums. I'm surprised they wouldn't offer to cut it up for you. They did. He said he basically said it's too expensive. <laughs> he's basically, uh, really? he's, yeah, yeah. He, he probably looked at me and was like, no, you can't afford it. We're not going to do this for you. Watch your step. Yeah, so I, I, and another thing they don't have is Cooper Sharp. Yes. I'll explain all this in the beginning uh, when I'm at the cutting board yeah. showing you the ingredients because it chaps my ass because I have an idea for like the perfect steak. Yeah. But this is still going to be exceptional. They also Cooper didn't have sharp. whole cherry peppers for me to make my yeah, own spread. Yeah, just how you got a jar? It's a jar yeah. of hoagie spread, which is the same way as, yeah. uh, it's the same idea. It's just them doing it instead of me doing it with fresher ingredients. Look, this is part of the, this is part of the process. Yeah. You gotta also, adjust. this is this is the shit that it's good th to see they're mostly going to do. Improvise, you know. You yeah. Read the defense. <laughs> yeah. You're making adjustments. Yeah. Kill! 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 <laughs> kill! Kill! <laughs> And, my, and I swelled up really bad. They didn't even give me painkillers because my mom didn't want me to take it. So I got like Celebrex or some like weak. It's like That's for like pill. vaginal infection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is cheesesteaks. And so far, uh, you were there, Burke. You were there, Clay. Yeah. Everything's gone fucking wrong. And I, I, I prepared for this mentally. Yeah, I came yeah, from Philly yeah, yeah. To this morning. I knew what I wanted to accomplish. And what I wanted... Yeah. I thought that was you. No, is this is this window? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I thought it was your pop pop tease. <laughs> Dude, that sounded. I thought, like, yeah, I thought it was your broken molar that never Dude. got removed. Just whistle. It did sound like an old man whistle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the the objective. Let me tell you the objective. This is a this is a staple in Philadelphia, obviously, and we're known for it across the country. Like Monday Night Football. Yeah. Fucking Hackley puts it on the on the set. Every single Monday night football game, they go to Pats and Geno's. Yeah. And so I wanted to, I'm happy it went the way it was. Yeah. It went. Because we were looking for chip steak. Chip steak 
is like, well, if you live in Philly, you get boxed frozen like Steakums. Yes. Now they yeah. have other brands because it's very popular. Steakums is like dehydrated cat food painted with two, like shoe polish. It's fucking dog shit. <laughs> it is so bad. And when you cook it down, it's like this gray meat, this matter yeah. that just sits in its own fats. There, Pats and Genios uses a high-end sliced ribeye, which is they freeze an actual ribeye. And they'll slice it lengthwise. Yeah, yeah. That's why you pay ten to twelve dollars uh, a sandwich. It's it's quality meat. So I want to take a, a little take on that. With this is a skirt steak. I just looked it up. So don't act like I know what the fuck I'm doing. Where this is at in the cow. But I did say it's like under the rib. It's in the middle area. It's not known for its tenderness. It's mo mostly known for its flavor. For its price point. Fatty. It's like it's half. It's like uh, what was it? It was down to fifteen dollars a pound on sale from twenty three. Uh, so it is pricey, but it goes a long way. Skirt steak grilled by itself is my second cut outside of ribeye, but it's cheaper. So if you have this in your market for a steak dinner, fucking do it. We're gonna char grill it, bring it back in, let it come to rest in a uh, rare, medium rare, and then I'm gonna cut it. The key to making it tender is cutting against the grain. If you don't cut against the grain, yeah, it's like chewing on a piece of fucking rubber for a yeah. while. Uh, and the two styles of steaks I want to do is, is Americansky with, uh, with cherry pepper. I was gonna make my own cherry pepper spread to show you how easy that is. Instead, I gotta get this fucking hoagie spread. But it's good they put hoagie in here. It is surprising. Let yeah. these New Yorkers know what a fucking difference a hoagie is from a hero. We don't do that hero bullshit. I can't say my address. Where's Cento? What's Cento based out of? Italy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be. No way. It's gotta be based out of Italy. It's in Italy. Delaware or something, probably. <laughs> Go get my reading glasses, will you? West Deptford, New Jersey. All dude, right. it's Philly. Shut up. <laughs> well, the boat, the boat comes That's in. That's why it's Hoagie yeah, yeah. Spread. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, true. All right, good point. Different. Good point. Good point. So in Philadelphia, you have access to a couple key ingredients for sandwiches. Okay, this Hoagie Spread is very popular. Uh, one of my favorite uh, cheesesteak places called Delisandros. Delisandros, what? <laughs> What? I'm just fucking wired, no, no, dude. No, I, just, I get very it's passionate. It's so funny to me. It's Chendo, where's that from? Italy. <laughs> What's Italian it's, name? It's from just outside of Camden. <laughs> yeah, when Trenton, yeah, yeah. when Trenton makes the world breaks or yeah, some bullshit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tanks is not mm -hmm. breaks, but breaks works. Uh, so the two standard uh, traditional steaks are, are whiz, uh, whiz with, which is with onion, or whiz without, which is just cheese whiz uh, and a, a flat ribeye. But the, the non-traditional, which is more traditional for where I grew up in Delco, is, is you found a better cheesesteak than anywhere around this fucking place, which is just chopped meat in, integrated with uh, American cheese. And yeah. we tried to get a, a Cooper American. If you can get American Cooper Sharp at home, fucking do it. Definitely. That's the preferred. I also asked him for white cheese so we could we can have a little visual difference uh, besides cheese whiz, but the guy was very upset. <laughs> he didn't like my fucking gab, apparently. Yeah, I bombed that the cheese, yeah, the cheese uh, monger. <laughs> <laughs> We're also including a bacon, egg, and cheese steak because Shane's brain fucking exploded and, and it might be a great idea. I had, uh, it is a good idea. Yeah, I had Burke run to get an everything bagel, as you see, all the everything got caked off on his walk home somehow. So we'll work with a, a regular one. We're gonna toast that. American cheese, I'm gonna use this American blend uh, after it's already integrated. Steak tops. If you have a fucking deli or you, or you run a, a, a corner steak shop, you lazy fucks, put the American cheese inside the meat and incorporate it, okay? That's very important for a successful steak. Yeah. The reason they don't do that is because it requires a lot of cleaning in between steaks. Oh, really? Yeah, so Pats and Gino's, they get away oh, with it because the, the turnover, yeah, on the grill. Yeah, yeah. Because the cheese will fry and you gotta, just, you gotta yeah, constantly yeah, yeah. scrape and shit and all the you know, old ladies with no yeah. triceps can't get working. Um, and then, uh, so, so this is it, dude. We're gonna fry up some onion for the other version, which is just gonna be um, whiz with cherry pepper spread, and then fried onion with the, with the cheese whiz. Okay. That's gonna be it. We're only using this, but if you have steakums at home, it's a lot easier if you want, but it, it, this will pay off and it's an elevated, it's a fucking cheese steak with a bow tie on. Steakums, steakums is how mom makes it in Philly. Yeah. You yeah. guys make them like peanut butter and jellies down there. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. That was lunch like it's every like four days a week. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. This kid Headley used to get his mom to bring like McDonald's on Fridays and my mom would just bring me like a, a fucking room temperature steak. <laughs> I'm like, thanks mom. I'm just going to blow my fucking brains out. 
<laughs> toilet wise for like the last two periods. Ironically enough, you were probably eating better than he was. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think about it. That kid was yeah. showing off. Every so Friday she yeah. came in. It smelling comes. the whole fucking dog yeah. shit cafeteria up with McDonald's and all the poor kids are like, where's my mom? It's like, what'd you get, an Arch Deluxe? Yeah. Isn't your mom supposed to be working like 30 hours a day? Like, how, <laughs> how, how is she off? <laughs> all right, so what's the next move? So next move is we're going to go outside and light this grill. Okay. And we're in a fucking wind tunnel right now. Our yeah. backyard specifically around 5 to 6 p.m. is, is, is nuts. Yeah. Because we're and on an today island. Today is particularly bad. Today is real bad because there's a storm room. 20 miles <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> So my hair is going to be a yeah. quaff and uh, yeah. yours might come off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will leave it. <laughs> you I'm might gonna be, be flopping. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be flopping. Yeah, you hard. might you might be hopping that fence to go pick up your wig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, this is gonna come to room temperature. It's very important as well. Uh, I typically have this is an all spice mix. I think I said this in a previous, but you'll see this a lot in the show. What I do is anytime you you buy fresh herbs for for you know, a dish, leave the extra out in the fridge till it dries out or you can leave it in the cupboard, depending on the moisture content. And then I do a grind with basically every spice that's in there. Yeah. Cumin, uh, paprika, turmeric, and all the main ingredients. I would typically put this on a skirt steak if I was making a skirt steak for a steak dinner. I'm only using salt on this because the stars have to shine. I say star every fucking episode, and I don't do it on no, purpose because I dish. don't like it. Why? I don't know, it's corny. I don't like it. And then we're only, doing one, we're only doing one cheesesteak, egg and cheese, uh, a bacon, yeah. egg and cheese steak, because that's unnecessary. So actually, I'm gonna throw the bacon on now. Okay. And then we'll go outside and fire the grill up. Probably should be doing a cold, cold pan. Isn't that what you do with bacon? I'm using my nonstick for uh, the cheese incorporation into the meat so it doesn't, it doesn't stick. Yeah. Here, this is fine. Ready? Ready. To, uh, <laughs> I went to go get my chimney out of here. <laughs> it's shock <full. laughs> So the last time I attempted to grill before the end of the season was like late August, early September. Actually, it was probably late September. I had my buddy Steve over. Yeah. And uh, I was like, you like mushrooms, right? I was like, you, oh, I, was oh, like uh, no. I was like, let's just do a couple mushrooms. I hadn't seen in a while. It was like a, a good hang. And I opened the bag. I take a few caps, and then I was like, fuck it, let's, let's dance, dude. And I took the rest of the batch, which was a hero's dose, within 10 minutes before I got to Sea town to get the bag of charcoal. And by the time I came here, yeah. I filled this up, put it on the grill and went, I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't. So this is all old charcoal that I'm gonna have to replace, Dump. yeah. This is the chimney. This saved my fucking life. Don't cinch on this paper. It takes a lot more power than you think. Just give it a drizzle. You wanna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna. Just make sure you get the bottom corners too because that's where I'm lighting it from. Okay. This is petrified wood, I guess. Charcoal, is that what that's? Uh, is charcoal so. different than petrified? Petrified's <laughs> petrified like shitty wood, right? No, petrified wood is like uh, wood that's like a million years old. <laughs> like an old shipwreck? Yeah. I think it's on a TV stand. Yeah, so this, uh, <laughs> dude, game changer. It's, especially with the wind that comes through here, you can't get it started without, without having one of these, like, what do you call it, like a centrifuge? It's a chimney. Chimney? Chimney. Chimney. <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta get on this side. Under there. Especially with the wind. So when these, yeah, this is gonna be. Hopefully, we don't need any more water. I think you're only supposed to fill this up like three quarters. Of yeah, but I've because the 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 thickness of the the girth of the meat is yeah, so yeah, thin. I want a very flame. high flame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. By the way, all our clothes will have to be tossed. Yeah. So anything you're, it's like going to a cigar bar. Like you're fucked. Just yeah. eat it. Well, you can change into another shirt. I got one out there for you. <laughs> I got a very special shirt I want you want you wearing the next the next scene. You know what it is? I do. <laughs> you saw it? I saw it. <laughs> but essentially, you're going to start to see a glow 
through these char charquettes. Uh, and once, once it gets, not the flame, once the coals get to like the mid yeah. circle, we'll do a dump, let it all. How psychedelic, psychedelic? God, that smell. It's great, nothing like it. I fucking it. love that smell. We got lucky today. We would have done this in the snow if we had to. <laughs> My father never stops grilling. Really? Same thing with golf. Oh, golf? Yeah. As long as there's no snow, right. he has a hammer. Him and his boys bring a hammer and a fucking nail to set the tee. <laughs> Swear to God. And he pulls his grill underneath the awning in his, in his back deck. And then he'll, he'll shovel, yeah. pull, the de pull the grill out. It's a good feeling. It's like standing around a fire. It yeah, it's an escape. It's an escape from regular life or your wife. Which is why he probably is always outside, <laughs> sleeping in a tent. Right, it's too cold for him. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, it's snowing, Gene. <laughs> I have to be outside. Back for a while. Heat some meat. And this is where I start to panic that it's not enough, but it usually is. You just have to be yeah. patient. Because all the bottom coals are lit. Any crackling you hear is usually a good sign. It just takes a while to get all the way up. If there was already fire here, no, none of us would speak at all. It's yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's a unifier with shutting men up. You just stare at a, I know that's fucking hack, but like staring at a flame, dude, I don't need any words. I start thinking about like my confirmation. Yeah, I get nuts. Good heat down there. It's like, yeah, what is that? I don't know. Dude, it's immediate. It's, it's like, life. it's a light switch for like emotion, yeah. memories. It feels like there's something deeply human about it. Well, I like, guess it's from where we're from. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, apes yeah, yeah. cooking meat on a fire. You yeah, but you shouldn't be thinking about your junior prom date. Yeah, but, no, but <laughs> that's what I get locked into. It's time to reflect. Yeah. <laughs> Water, fire, big boats. Yes. It's these all are, making these sense. Are, these are the three keys to it. Yeah. Happy I love how he has ash in his hair already. <laughs> because we, yeah, we were like being out in the water. Jesus was a fisherman. He was. He was black. No one talks about it though, really, I feel like. Like how good of a fisherman was he? <laughs> I want to see his carpet, carpentry skills stories. a little yeah, more, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was he like a shoddy table maker? Yeah, did he build anything? Ever? You think his week was all booked out because, like, the, you know, the villagers? They bring it up a lot. It's almost like when you talk about how good you are a lot, it's fake. Yeah, yeah. That means he was real fucking bad. He couldn't have been good. You'd think he didn't know how to make a hinge. thing that people are doing nowadays that's just like, no, Jesus invented this movie. Yeah, all the dumbest guys I know are carpenters. Yeah. <laughs> A That's not true. Electricians. Yeah. It's my brother. How we doing? It's brutal. That is tough. It's getting a lot of oxygen. It's kind of good airflow. Yeah, this thing's amazing. It's gonna heat up nice. This will fire it up. That's gonna be terrible. It's all right. There we go. Hey, watch your eyebrow. Your mustache, especially. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. Now we wait. I was worried. <laughs> I know you did. That's, you know, I actually do this every it. single time. I know you can't panic. You gotta let it do. You gotta just let it do its thing. Dude, I'm I'm gonna have to shave my head once we get inside. <laughs> it's you just just your pillow's gonna be fucked. You gotta get showered. Yeah, okay, you go right to the bar afterwards. True. Make everyone else deal yeah, with it. it'd be yeah. real weird. Like I didn't know you smell? fixed trains for a <laughs> Why do you still? Yeah. <laughs> no, we were grilling. Why do you smell like lighter? Food? Yeah. Why do you smell like <laughs> You'll get that question. That's a question no, for your no, crazy we're face. Grilling. We're gonna grill. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start a fire. Yeah. <laughs> this could be us and like. Like three fat dudes in Hawaiian shirts. The first day it hits like 55. <laughs> like we're grilling. Yeah. We're getting we're getting shorts on. Showing my hands. Yeah, it does feel like uh, it should have like a name because it's a tiny chimney. Like a chimney. Chimney is an outdoor fireplace, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's it's like one that's shaped like a like a decanter. Yes. I like those ones a lot. Yeah, they're they're not functional though. They're just cute. My brother got one though. It's sick. It's like it's smokeless. Is it on a boat? No, 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 no. Yeah, this is a gas grill. And the reason we're using this one as opposed to that one, and first off is because that one's been broken for about five years. And it's a tank. This is like uh, this is like how they made your your SUV. They don't make them like this anymore. This is a V8, dude. This is a V8 made it of uh, pure iron. Yeah. That, that igloo is keeping it up from totally, it's all broken and rotted. But it is important, once you make the, 
the physical change to uh, a charcoal, the flavor profile, no matter what you're cooking, is just so much better. It's just a little more work. This whole pr preamble to the actual cooking is yeah. the best part. You come out, you talk, you hang. Correct. If you just come out, you light it, you throw it on. It's the saddest, it is sad. shittiest experience yes. ever because it's yes. over and it's done. Yeah. You had to do nothing. The saddest thing is putting something in the oven and going back to sit down yeah, yeah. To, <laughs> to watch a rerun of like The Christmas Story. That's the saddest shit. You get through friends again. Yeah. <laughs> It's my dad. <laughs> Star Trek season 17's on. Yeah. They did 17 seasons? Yeah. He's just raping. Yeah. What is he flavor? Or is he doing beer? I don't know. I don't think I, I think I was in too much in shock to get into the, the depths of the, yeah, the, the yeah. vape combo. But it is good. He need, he needs he needs a break from the old, the old Nick. Oh no, he's getting plenty of nicotine. Oh yeah, right. Carcinogens. Yeah, yeah. The shit we're sucking in right now. Right, right. This is actually like I think being next to a fire is like the worst thing you can do. Really? Yeah. From petrified wood. <laughs> petrified? Yeah. It's scared. It's more scared of you than you are. <laughs> That's why it's staying put. <laughs> Damn, pop off jokes galore. I wasn't wood grilling for for years. I wasn't grilling at all. But once I decided we have the space, we got a backyard, I gotta get a grill. Yeah. I think uh Racine posted about this particular one. This is a uh, the, Weber the Weber, but this size. This is a yeah. 36 or 24. I bought the small one because it was on sale. Uh, I was yeah. drunk as shit. I'm like, this is very cheap. Yeah. And it came. It was like you can cook a hot dog, like one hot yes. dog. Totally useless. Yeah. So typically, if I'm only cooking a steak, I try and bulk load the cook after this because energy-wise, this is going to cook for another 45 to hour and a half at a high temperature. Yeah. So if you're only cooking a skirt steak, this is gonna be ready to cook anything you want. Yeah. So if you can cook off four or five pieces of chicken for grilled chicken going forward, it's more ex Asparagus. Yeah, it's get more, yeah, in. get it all in. Yeah. You can fucking meal prep if you want. Yeah. Or you just get upset, like uh, when, you, when you were raised without money, this kind of shit like drives you nuts. Yes. So even if you're happy with the steak itself, I know that there's like three more hours to burn on that, that grill out there. I get upset. Like yeah. I won't enjoy the, the meal itself because oh, really? I'm like, I'm wasting so much fucking energy. I know. But, but it's worth it because the flavor of this and the, this is the most expensive. And if you're out there, yeah, you're cooking with your dad, literally the most fun argument is when to tip it. I was gonna say that's probably gonna happen <laughs> organically with us. Because yeah, yeah. I am your dad in this relationship. When to tip it. Actually, that's, you're my dad. I think it's probably both. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm ready to go. You probably want no, two more no, minutes. No, no, I like it. I like it ready to go. Tips of the coals with an eye shot when they're frosted like that, you're uh, good. Yeah. So even the ones in the middle, middle here, once we flip, it's all going to be incorporated, and then I'm just going to rearrange with the uh, with the tongues. The wind's going every direction, so there's really nothing you can do. No, it doesn't look like a lot, but trust me. Also, do not touch that. I've made that mistake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch hot metal <laughs> for those of you at home. I mean, like, a couple of minutes yeah. go by and you're panicked Metal's about... it's glowing red. <laughs> Don't touch it. You know what I mean, you asshole bitch. <laughs> Whew. See, look, dude, you can't even... You can even throw a couple coals in on top. No, no, no. Trust me. Don't Feel that. It. It's nuts. It's like 500. I leave this filthy as shit because the heat is going to cook off all that old food. And this is the only time I'm going to cap it. You're aerated underneath. You got it wide open on the bottom. The wide top. open on the bottom, wide open on the top. So it's still flowing. Still keeping the high intensity. It's going to cook off some of the intensity, which is good because this is a lot. I don't, it's got to be at least 400. If it's not, it's wrong. I know. I'm having, How a, hot I'm having a blast watching this thing run. Yeah. It's like that yodeler in uh, The Price is Right. <laughs> when you guess a price. <laughs> so I'm using salt and pepper. This meat is so flavorful, dude. It's crazy. You go on both sides? Or do you yeah, yeah, I go both sides. You rub it in or no? Nah. Not for a cheesesteak. See how fatty that is? I'm going to have to control the meat. You can shave a little bit of that, but I there's, don't, I don't either. Do no, no, I won't. I won't. The 
I gotta get close because the wind, half of it's in my crotch right now. Damn, this pepper shaker rules. Thanks, E-bomb. All right, let's go pop that lid, bro. All right. It pops right up. This is the best, but it just starts cooking the old food and it just immediately just get hungry. Yeah, I want that, I want that hard sear. Creates like a crust. And we can also move it. This one's a little thinner, so you're gonna have to control. See how thin this is on this back half? At points, I'll just flip it. Another minute and a half, two minutes. Because again, we want to keep this medium rare so that when we recook it, it's not going to be overdone. You do touch the meat. There's this like wild shit people use in the restaurant business where like certain parts of your thumb, if you grip it oh, yeah, yeah. at different but areas. It's like, uh, it's or you could do it here. Yeah, some people do it in here. As you gradually yeah, shift, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard like three dudes give me different like ones, and I was like, I'm just trying to learn the other rare, one. Rare, medium, rare. Yeah, done. well done, yeah. This is a great temp. So I'll, all, I use, all I use is water. This is typically to stop the immediate flame so it doesn't taste like, I mean, burnt shit, yeah. And then this is in a case of a a fucking emergency. This is, <laughs> this is, I've only broken out the tea kettle dog one, like one time. But it, it's a, like, again, it's the reason they say it's a very flavorful fat, much like a ribeye is it's laced with fat or a flavorful cut. It's laced with fat, but it's also tough for temperature control. So this is what I'm looking for right there. That's what you're looking for. This is a perfect char. Now I'm probably gonna have to move it off the flame because it's a little too much. But on both sides, as this cools down, whew, holy fuck, I can't, my, look at this, I, my knuckle hair's gone. Look at this. Look at this. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, so that's, that's the boy. This boy's done. In about 30 seconds. I was just gonna flip that over. This is getting recooked anyway, so it doesn't, it's not like, it's not poultry. It. It so All right, I'm gonna take this off. Ready? Yeah, it's perfect. It's, you, you spend 50 bucks on steak, it's like you better fucking do it right. You fail a bunch of times, but you'll figure it out. Also for a cheesesteak, you really can't, you can overcook it, but it's gonna be incorporated with flavors that doesn't have to be in its purest form. You know, if you get a steak or a ribeye or like something a little more uh, pure on its own, I hate to say pure again, but like that is all you're eating. So temperature matters so much more. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if you're chopping this or slicing against the grain, adding cheese, yeah, yeah, yeah. peppers, you, you can hide yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah, the consistency is still gonna be there. And you're also safe, if you're cooking this on a grill, you're safe if it's undercooked, you're gonna cook it on stove top. So this is medium rare. I'm taking this off. We're gonna cook that, or cover it in foil. Let it continue to cook for like 15, let all the juices go back in. And then we'll start, start the actual sandwich making. <laughs> I doubled down with my lies, dude. Um, Speaking of fucking lies. The lies around this neighborhood about them having, what? <laughs> what? You, you thought I was gonna get racial or something? No, 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 I don't know, no. I just, I thought there's people lying about us in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, you shit. specifically. You're dude. the only one who knows yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't stick up for you once at Judy's. <laughs> no, I, 
Foley and I have conversations all the time on the road about this, about growing up in Philly, you have, or, or the suburban areas around Philly, you have sandwich shops and, uh, and seven options yeah, of yeah. certain styles of cheesesteak, certain styles of, of comfort food, strombolis, uh, fucking grinders, whatever yeah. the fuck it is. Around here, it's the best uh, cultural foods, right? From all the other yes. ethnicities and stuff, that's the best, this is the best location in the world for that. American, but even within that, there's subsets of like sure. what's good and what's not. Yeah. The American comfort food accessibility in this region is dog shit. There's a couple shops that do this sandwich with good quality ingredients, but they do it incorrectly. I, I, simple dishes for me are required because anyone can do it, but you can elevate it and do it correctly. I, this particular sandwich has a, a nice cut of meat, nice cheese to meat ratio. However, and I've spent yeah. countless months of my life calling delis, corner bars, places I like to get cheesesteaks growing up, asking them specifically if it's the first time I had their sandwich, is it real whiz? Yeah. Is it real whiz? And then depending on the voice, I'll know if, how young they are and they'll go, yeah, it's whiz. That's orange paste. Yeah. It's orange sauce. Really? It's watered down cheese sauce that comes in a fucking bag. Which is crazy. It's crazy. It's already watered down cheese sauce. Right. But this is flavor profile and consistency. Mouthfeel. <laughs> this is the best it gets. Correct. So we're going to do, like I said before, we're going to do two versions. Whiz with fried onion. I'm going to get that started very soon. And then we're also going to do, as I said, a cherry pepper spread with Amerikansky. And, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, ketchup is not accepted in this, in this fucking kitchen today. We're not doing any of that bullshit. We're going to traditional styles. As soon as you tell somebody from Philly or surrounding areas, they'll be like, Pat's or Geno's. And I immediately like, well, there's a million other options that are, uh, I'm a yeah. fan of. Barstool last year did a um, the NCAA 64 bracket style. What's the best cheesesteak in Philadelphia? But also it is Pat's. <clears throat> I, go, I, go, I go Pat's steak, Geno's cheese fry. Gino's cheese fries are lights out. Yeah, I like, I mean, Gino's makes a good steak, but they also like, Pat's has been there for like 60 years. Gino's is opened in like 1996. Hey, Rob, the recipe went yeah, across yeah, the street yeah. and said, fight it's me. Insane. What are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah. You're gonna do nothing. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and he didn't do anything. And then Philly built his whole <laughs> Gino bullied the fuck out of Pat. Around those two shops. <laughs> <laughs> it was just True. insane. True. There was literally, yeah. Nothing to offer in Philadelphia, they didn't think. Well, it's a fight club. Geno's and Pat's is a fight club for post-Eagles games. It's great it's to like, go see tits come a, out in yeah. a fucking brawl with long long nails and some fucking Gina fighting a Gianna. <laughs> What's the most fun thing to do in Philly? Wait in line for a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like being on Wildwood's boardwalk, just paying a ticket to see a fist fight from two strangers. <laughs> <laughs> so this steak, also, I, I don't know why I brought these out because I had an idea, but Taylor Porco Haberset Scrapple, two items. Uh, Jersey, this is PA. Yeah. This is Trenton area. Wait. Two, two ingredients that no one in this fucking area gets Wait. down with. What is this? Oh, dude, Taylor Porco is the shit, man. Oh. It's a breakfast meal. I'm used to one that's this thick, though. Oh, you can buy it by the roll, you can buy thick slices, you can buy thin slices. Yeah, this is an yeah. eight slice, so it's like uh, appropriate. I'm I thought make... it was a single serving pork roll. I'm gonna make. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's just a hot well, dog. First of all, that's a circle hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and no, you can leave this out for six months and yeah, fine. Yeah. It's not going to go bad. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to chop this onion real quick. We're going to we're toss in to get a fried onion. And then we're going to incorporate the steak meat into the onion for one. We're going to make that sandwich, cut it open, we'll have it. And then we're going to have a, a Marikonski. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, a, actually, whiz with, and then we'll we'll do the others. Yeah, I don't know cool. why I said that so fucking terribly. You want to do this? Asking. Yeah, I'll cut an onion. Yo, shout out to D. Keep her name a little uh, under the wraps. Yeah, but I got this uh, sent to me because she nice. said she said my my previous knives were dog shit, and I don't believe this because they're Damascus from from Japan, and that's what uh, this is not Damascus, but this is a very high end. I, I looked it up. How close is Rings. Damascus to Japan? Damascus. Next. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, there's no fucking- Get your speed going. How fast can you do that? I, well, it's supposed to be 30 degree angle. Yeah. I've said this before, right? I said this on, maybe we never yeah, released- yeah, but I've never seen you I don't push do it the like, pace. I want you to, I want you to see- uh, No, because then you'll see the, the, mis cut. the mishaps. No, it's not about being cut. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
Dude, that's like seven bucks worth of booze. <laughs> oh, incredible. Anyway, it's not about the space. <laughs> anyway, we can just let it soak, dude. Let's get to it. Dude, I... <laughs> now, can't you do this? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You can You... No, you're supposed to... Stop doing that. Right. <laughs> it's hurting me. Here and away from you. So what you're doing is aligning the teeth. You're supposed to go 30 degree angle. So yeah, I've been doing yeah. it for a while to learn, drill this straight down. And this is a teeth straightener, essentially. Yeah, 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 I know. So you know, but they don't. So the teeth, the teeth of a knife, <laughs> the teeth of a knife, the essentially. Worst ever. Yeah, no, I, yeah, got I, know, it. I know, I know, I know. I heard you say it before. I heard you say it before. Just fucking let me hold it. So the, the very, the blade itself, under like a microscopic lens, you would see the, the teeth can separate due to dulling or throwing it in the sink yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. mistreating it. So they get all unaligned like yeah. this and that sharpening just aligns it like this and that's what causes the, the sharpest blade. So what I learned the first time you do this, here's 45, you go to 30, straight down. You can either do it towards you or away from you. It's easier to control towards you. So then you can start doing it this because you know the angle. Move the head. I thought, I, okay, the head comes up. Watch your finger in the back. I got it. It's a nice sharp it. knife, huh? Yeah, it's very good. Now cut it okay. in half. Down the spine, right in the middle of the ass. Split that okay. ass. Okay, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. You good. You can use that half. We're not going to use any more than that one half. This one? Yeah. All right, so we right. want to go. Hold tonk, on. Tonk, 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 tonk. No, right. tonk, tonk, tonk. Then tonk, tonk, tonk. Oh. Then tonk, tonk, tonk. This way? No, this way. Yeah, yeah, this way. That's what I said. No, 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 no. Right. This way. Oh, through the middle. Palm. Okay, right. So yeah. one, two, three. Got it. One, two, three, four, five. So however many, okay. depending on the on the and then diameter. So you want almost like a half inch by half inch because they're going to reduce a lot. Okay. So here. Yeah, it doesn't have to be fine. So only do three. That's okay. it. Good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you want to keep that spine intact in the very back. Yeah. So it keeps so it all I together. I did. Well, you did. You did a great job. Okay. Now do, you want like spacing of like this. No, yeah, no. start here. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, and okay. just be careful not to break this back cellular wall or else they yeah. all unpeel like a fucking blooming onion. Nice. Ooh. It's all right. See, this is already done perfectly, so it's, it should be two or three. Well, mas. And turn it. Okay, and then we go this way. Yep, watch and your then... fingers. Go a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, right there. That's it. That's it. Come on. Perfect. That's a nice That's shot. That's perfect. Okay, I think I can get one more. You can more. get one more. And also, like, at this point, yeah, so you went you went deep enough, but if you see any bigger, ah, holy yeah. shit, Did that I get is you? so Did sharp. Did I get you? No, it's my fault. I put my hand in front of you. But yeah. So any of these you could just manipulate and it'll be it'll be good. Off Yo, Bert! Deep enough. Grab me a band-aid. Yeah. Sorry. Dude, I think I'm three for three so far. <laughs> I know. <laughs> God, cut. This is the first time I cut you. No, I put my hand in front of you. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Anyway, how do you like your bloody onions? All right, here's what we're gonna do here, bub. This is extra virgin. It's gonna smoke, but that's fine because we're not going too high here. Another game changer. This little shoveler. Sorry about that. Christopher, I'm coming in. Okay. Behind. We're not going to use all these, but it'll be fun. It'll flavor the pot. We're going to drop the steak. I like it. It's like two layers, too, isn't it? Uh, they didn't try to, like, make one big arc. Isn't it like... <laughs> It's like Dr. Adolf and then sponge yeah, underneath. Yeah, I've never didn't. seen a jersey do that. Yeah, they didn't go from shoulder to shoulder. Like, yeah. they realized. They put thought into it. Yeah. Alright, the purpose of the uh, the bracket, the barstool bracket, which I'm going to shout out because they're good to us. 
Also, I immediately shit on it. I was like, there's no fucking way. There's 64 locations in Philly and surrounding areas, including the suburbs. They went a ways. They went a couple miles out, two, three miles out. And I have my face. I have, and they yeah. hit my two. One and two. Which is Saint or, uh, John's Roast Pork. Okay. Is my favorite cheese steak. Is that the one steak. by uh, Lowe's? Yeah, on yeah. Uh, Del Rav. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Del Sandro's. Their third was, I forget, but I had Delco Steaks. It's called okay. Delco Steaks. Yeah. Recently, and their cheese to meat ratio is out of this world. Good quality meat, and they give you a big fucking steak. I don't know where that is. I don't know what the top three are, but I know those two are the, 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 in the top three. My favorite cheesesteak ever was this place called Scooters on 38th. Scooters was good. 38th and Barry. Yeah. Did you ever go Scoot to I've been to Scooters, they, dude, yes. They, yeah. I lived in West Philly, yeah. 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 Scooters. I can't believe you just Scooters, said that. Dude. Oh, Scooters, dude. Scooters fucking ruled. Damn. I was also going to bring up, do you ever go to Ed's Pizza and Wings? Yeah, on campus. Yeah. For what? To shit? <laughs> no, I went there. <laughs> that was the first, the first what a day. Dump, dude. First day I was in Philly. Uh, I went in there and I was like, uh, "Can I get one of those uh, steak and cheeses?" No. <laughs> you went were Brooklyn on them? Furious. Like deep Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah. They were mad. And uh, it chopped cheese, essentially, right? Yeah. That's what you were trying to refer I to. I guess so. Chopped no, cheese. I was just trying to get a steak and cheese. I don't know. Well, stop saying it wrong. I've never, said, I've never <laughs> said it any other way than steak and cheese. You're like, you mean a cheese steak? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this meat has been cooled. It looks so good. Almost back to room temp. A little warm, but I'm like I said, I'm recooking it. So this will be medium rare. You want to cut against the grain, so okay. you'll see the grain going this yeah. way. You can see it clearly. So for control purposes, I'm just going to half it before I do that. Yeah. Also, if I was making like uh, tacos, because I'll use this yeah. steak for a, a future look at dish taco, and I'm gonna use skirt steak, but if, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Fuck yeah. What's the color in there? It's settled in, but that would yeah. be a, a hotter red to start. Yeah. So now we're going against, or with the grain, to cut that in half, just so, we, like I said, I can control it. So I'm gonna try and do this two different ways. I'm gonna try and do thinly sliced to see if the chew will be different, and then I'm gonna do a, a mince, a chop, a hard chop with this boy. Okay. That's the cut right there. Damn. So this is medium rare, and it's gonna finish off at medium by the time it's cooked, and, and a shitload of American cheese is gonna be all over it. All right, so now the smaller, thinner ones I'm gonna use as a chop. These thicker, nicer, nicer pieces, so the grain's here. I'm gonna try and start to glide against the grain on this side. So that every mouth bite, you can cut through each piece. And I'm gonna use this for the whiz one because it'll have a little more integrity. And the whiz isn't gonna be incorporated. I'm just gonna put that on the roll itself and let the heat of the steak, blend it. So this is chip steak essentially if you were, had, but he would have never given us, I wouldn't get like ribeye chipped because it's just, why? What are you why, cutting here, like an eighth, and a, eighth of an inch? Here? Yeah, it's about an eighth. Anything, as thin as you can get with a sharp knife. If you don't have a good knife, this is gonna be very difficult to do, but you can also just chop finely and make it like a mince, like, you know, like a corner cheesesteak that we're used to getting at, yeah, a, at yeah. a bar or, or a deli. You know, if you caramelize onions, you, you go to very low heat for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. If you saute onions, it's a medium high heat for a short period of time because you still want the consistency. A fried onion, you want to burn the edges ah, so that, oh, well, that caramelization perfect. comes out naturally and it has a, a different flavor that's a little more pungent. Well, then it's perfect. Right. All right, grain is going like this against perpendicular. Again, as thin as you can get it, but it should be tender enough. So this is the thinly sliced one for, for the whiz and fried onion, which is the more classic take because I kind of wanted to layer it flat like, uh, like you would get it 
Patsogenos, which is it's kind of impossible with this cut, but it, it'll be very similar. This I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make more of a chopped, overly chopped, like they do in uh, your normal your restaurants and, and bars. So I'm going against the grain here first, but I don't have to pay attention to detail. I'm just like, I'm just gonna mince this up and get it to like a, a manageable bite feel. And this is gonna be the American and cherry pepper spread. I know, bite feel. <laughs> so the farther you break this up, the more it's gonna be tender, obviously. It's a good chop. It is a good chop. And then we're gonna put, this is gonna be infused with a shitload of American. So you, you chop the American? No, I'm just gonna place it over it, melt it, and then just stir it. Okay. I can, I can break it. I can break it over top for sure. Always American over provolone? 100%, provolone can fuck right off. <laughs> Mozzarella like cheese is useless that. unless you need like a doorstop. You have a loud fucking neighbor that slams the door. It has, it says it's, it's a mozzarella stick. I'm not talking shit on. You need a flavorful, especially with a high cut of meat like this. You need something to break through um, the meat flavor or make it very consistent. That's why Cooper Sharp is important because it's sharp enough that you, you still taste the cheese mm. and the consistency is melty enough. Provolone is the opposite. It gets tight when it cools a little bit. Yeah. And it's very bland unless you get an extra sharp provolone. But guess what? These places you're ordering cheesesteaks from don't have extra sharp provolone. I doubt it. I mean, I've, so I, I yeah, I, I, there's only two cheese options for me. It's provolone, I'm sorry. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's American or Whiz, and that's it. There's no other option. Cheddar on a cheeseburger, suck my dick. I like a cheddar no, on a cheeseburger. No, no, you're not tasting it and the consistency's all whacked. I don't know. American on a cheeseburger or blue cheese, you can even do a fucking, I'd rather do a brie or a goat. Something has a melty texture and doesn't just coagulate as soon as it hits the goddamn beef. I like a blue cheese on a burger. Blue burger, a blue, yeah. yeah. It's great. All right, so now you see the difference, huh? So let's go, good. let's fire this up. We're gonna do chopped Amerikanski with some cherry pepper spray. That's number one. Number two, whiz, fried onion. Okay. All right. A hoagie in general is just a soft roll. A grinder is a hoagie put into an oven to crisp up the outside. I don't understand when people cook a sandwich that has so many ingredients. You, the reason that to sear the inside of the roll is to build a wall from the penetrating juices. juices from making it mushy and soft. Yeah. I also think it's necessary for the outside of the roll to be crusty on a lot of different rolls because you're getting a crunch texture here as well as the soft inside. Yeah. What's important in a cheesesteak roll is to have that naturally because I do like the soft texture. Sometimes you cook this too long. See, if you, you hear that? Yeah. This is a good roll. This is a good roll. This is from our local it's not even a bakery, we didn't even go to a bakery. This is where they get them from a bakery. Yeah. Shut up, Tom. So this kind of shit is like. But it's it, surprisingly good for a fucking grocery store roll. 100%, this yeah. is a very good roll. I always go seed it on a cheesesteak if possible. Uh, in Philly they use Sarcones at most of the major joints, which is like the biggest baker down there. Amoroso can suck my dick. Yeah, there's tip, typical, so there's cherry spread D'Alessandro serves, but if you go to Pat's and Gino's. Ketchup. Yeah, it's ketchup, uh, napkins, and then they have bins. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very sloppy culture. I know. I and they like have bins it. of I just a whole ketchup, dude. <laughs> whole uh, cherry peppers. They have the stems on and all. They don't do any prep work the way Delisandros does. They make this. They make the the actual spread there where they just blend it in a fucking food processor. But the pep, the whole pepper, you basically pop it to get all the core out and the seeds and all the juice. It has a shitload of vinegar okay. wrapped in it from, <clears throat> from travel and such. So you just pop it and then peel it and there's just like whole slices that I would layer into my cheesesteak. But this is necessary in both of these. But I'm gonna do both styles to see what you guys prefer. Yeah. But the bacon, egg, and cheesesteak is just gonna be all the regular flavors you would get in a bacon, egg, and cheese with a little bit of steak, steak underneath. All right, so I'm ready to hit this fucking flame. All right, let's do it. Got to part the meat seeds, Rick. I 
I don't want this cooking long. Look at this. Look at this. That Chris was worried about toast. the consistency of this. It's push button toaster. No, I like the, the fundamentals of the toaster are good. It's just the touch screen worries me. All right, seems eminently breakable. Where are my tongs? So this just requires a fold and then an eyeball. So this will melt, melt and uh, we'll, we'll figure out where we're at. Boom. Thanks. I know it's not pretty right now, but once this shit melts together, we're gonna be in business. So you see now it's gonna warm the shit up. I'm gonna need one more slice. Once it starts to incorporate. Again, it's not pretty yet. It ain't pretty yet. Cheese to meat ratio, everything. It's everything. What do you got in there now? Six slices? Probably five. It's all eyeball. Now I'm gonna add the fried onion. Should be enough, I don't want to overdo it. Ooh, it's not, it's not even flipping, that's good. That's how you know you're close. Yeah, that's it, that's it right there. That is perfect, perfect consistency. Look at this, Chris. Look at that ish. I'll have the boys take a bite of this. That is the first one. Golly. That's unbelievable. You ready, baby? Unbelievable. Can you bite into this? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking good. Oh my god, dude. That. How was it? You want a bite, Bert? That's fucking unbelievable. Oh man. How about? Wow. Wow. Unreal. It almost tastes like a mushroomy kind of great, like. Yeah. Now this is your classic without anything. People like putting yeah. ketchup and shit on it. That doesn't need it. No cherry pepper. This is just pure good steak, good cheese, good cook. Oh my God. Unbelievable. So this will try, I'll put half cherry pepper and with whiz and half with just whiz. Okay. All right. Looks like a lot, because it is. At the big cheesesteak places, they have like this giant wand that dips into a, a big yeah, tongue. Yeah. That's always being heated. It's the hottest thing ever, dude. It's like watching a girl take off her top for the first time. Yeah. You just like slowly watch this thing come out and like drip cheese all yeah. down the tip. I'm gonna drop this pig. Thank you. Yes. I'm gonna lid this to get more convection heat so it doesn't overcook. No. I'm just cooking whiskey. this all the way through temp. Half cherry pep. This is how I have it at, at the big boys, Geno's or Pat's. 
Without the spread, I just use, you know, whole cherry peppers, but we'll give you a good idea. And then one without. And then this one, we'll go fried onion. See what you like best, bro. Ready, Bob? Yeah. Chris, I can hear him drooling. It's crazy. All right. Look at Chris. Look at Chris. And tailgate style. There's your fried onion. Look. This is the cherry pepper. Chris, you want cherry pepper first? Yeah. Oh, fuck me, Tom. Which one you got? Cherry pepper. Fuck me, Tom. Cherry pepper whiz? Cherry pepper whiz. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Where's your fried onion? It's truly unfucking believable. <laughs> We're having fun. It's crazy. The boys are having fun. Like, um, yeah, the cherry pepper whiz. This is just fried onion mm. whiz. Slow it down. This is really good too. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun time to be alive. Oh my god, dude. It's so fucking good. I don't know how close you are. The onions popped in that one more. Yeah? They the weren't as lost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you soak it and drench it in American, it's a whole different, it's just But that, again, experience. to his, to Birch point, it's like it had the, this gravy kind of quality to it that uh -huh. was also fucking really mm -hmm. good. You make a little gravy in the sandwich. <laughs> the sandwich makes its own gravy. Ooh. All right, one more. There's this little sweet pocket of chi right there. Oh, I hate about the guts. <laughs> no. <laughs> I fucked it up. My trainer, when I told him, I was like, yeah, all I want is a fucking cream cheese egg, cream cheese bagel. Yeah. And he's like, a what? I was a cream cheese bagel. And I did it like three times and he goes, oh, dude, I'm not fucking with you. I don't even know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, a bagel. A bagel. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a bagel. Yeah, it is a bagel. I admit that. But that's one thing I'm not fucking coming back from. Yeah, yeah. A Why bagel, would you? A, a bagel. Yeah, it... Make the world come to you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you got it, Chris. <laughs> Literally it's... 99 miles from where I grew up, right? Yeah, yeah but there's you like... Say bagel. Dude, there's parts of PA. That's why they call it Pennsylvania. Like, I, you go 30 minutes west, and they talk like this. Like, they have a fucking accent. Yeah. They wear camo. They drive around trucks with with uh, Confederate flag license plates. Yeah, like, it's a whole nother world. I'm gonna hit this for 35. That's my excess meat. So I'm gonna cap quick. It's all right. I just want to show this because this is important. Yeah. When you cut an egg through a sandwich. You definitely don't want to undercook it. You kind of want it over medium, maybe even towards... Um, Hard? Yeah. You just want a little sp a spillage. So sometimes I'll, I'll 
keep the lid covered to kind of cook through it without overcooking the skin, which is what we have here. This pan is unbelievable, by the way. It's so perfect. What do you like about the pan? It's, the, the nonstick is like, it's, yeah. it's so outrageously perfect. It hasn't, it hasn't lessened in all its use in the past like six months. Well, it's crucial to have people that don't use forks on it. Yeah, 100%. That's everything. Yeah. Or yeah, just don't yeah, use yeah, it. Yeah, 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 true. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lockbox. Once this thing starts getting rolling, I get some real fucking good stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna have a lockbox around this. Why? Like a bike chain going through all the little hoops and- Why? Because you don't think I will respect the pan? I bet you would. Yeah. I think no, I just I said it for, for comedic purposes, but if you want to fucking oh, make it work. Were, I thought you thought- Like legitimately. Interlopers coming in, making a meal. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Yeah. Interlopers. <laughs> Cheese steak. Never done this before and neither has probably anyone. So who the fuck knows? It's just steak, egg and cheese and bacon on it. No way to say it differently. <laughs> Owen? Dos. Bacon. Man, this thing is a piggy. I might not be able to cut this without them sliding. Use the serrated. I miss both yolks. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have to quarter. <laughs> there she is, but that's fine. It's a little overcooked. But this is the bacon, egg, and cheese steak. I'm actually excited about this, dude. I'm sloppy as hell. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Stop like food shows with like sandwiches you can't fit in your mouth. That is the hackiest bullshit where they, they have like yeah. three chicken cutlets and two burgers yeah, and they, yeah. they nip on the end of it like a little fish. You get your name on the wall if you eat it. This is this is the maximum in terms of because it's a, it's a required cleanup. But the flavor profiles, if we had this just first and this only, you'd be floored. You're dulling every sandwich you're having, but this, I gotta I got be honest, Shane. This it's is it, fucking. It's pretty good. This is light. What out. I'd like to experiment with is a bacon, egg, cheese, chili with potato cones. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you were. <laughs> and I wanna show people how to make a potato cone. You just fry balls of mashed potato. <laughs> All right. Come on, on a You're breakfast due. sandwich. Well, what do you what do you have to say for yourself? I I had anxiety when I started this day. Yeah. In fucking in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. From seven a.m. Of course. This I'm very happy with. We got multiple flavors. Multiple profiles, multiple mouth feels, and that bacon, egg, and cheese steak, if alone, yeah, is a fucking wonderful sandwich. We just had it after two cheese steaks. It is a dangerous thing to do because it's like it's like uh, thinking, telling people you're a good golfer, and it's like, all right, make this six foot putt. And you're like, true. Are you trying to get me to golf tonight? Because I'm not what? fucking doing. No, it. no, I'm just saying that it's tough. We should golf. You know? in two it's days. something that you should make well. Right. Like it's hard to fuck up. Yeah. But it's hard to elevate to the level Ooh. that I think you took it to. Thank you, bud. Yeah. I want to give you some props on that. You know that French? We call it what? In French culinary school, they make you do a, a cook an egg for a whole year. Yeah. Master the egg in all of its forms. And that's something that would make me drop. We would have had a droopy egg, but we had to change cameras. That's that's my fault. <laughs> Clay, you think thank so? you. Bud. Yeah, yeah. You were wonderful. 
What a wonderful asset we've had today. <laughs> be, yeah. I can't wait to see this fucking shit. Yeah, this is going to be this is gonna be. Anyway, good. yeah, and everything you saw here, the purpose of this of this uh, show is for information, it's for humor, it's for just to hang, to learn how to do simple shit and elevate uh, whatever, your normal fridge palette. Yeah. So fucking, uh, if you do make this, I do, I do like being sent photos and dudes being like, yo, I got fucking, I got... <laughs> I gave this girl fingering because I made your noodles. Like, yeah. I like stuff like that. that I like to know yeah. that I'm reaching the public. It makes you feel good. It does. You're changing the world. I am changing. One fingering at a time. One finger at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making a little more loose than change. <laughs> loose change. Yeah. All right, we'll see you next time. I have no idea what I'm going to cook, so yeah. that's it. Next week. All right. <laughs>